uh, when we built this application, we had a further development in mind, and we implemented the plugin architecture. Every feature that we describe today is specially developed dynamic plugin. Uh, extensibility of our application rises the business viability of our solution because it is so easy to add new features and at the same time the plugins are maintained separately. The device that we are using is the cheapest on the market. Originally it's not very precise and has certain level of unwanted, unwanted signal. Uh, in order to improve it, uh, in order to improve it we implemented, uh, we uh, disassembled it, disassembled it and uh, modified it with medical grade ECG electrodes, as you can see on his forehead. Uh, also, we developed a special plugin that will neutralize effects uh, uh, that will neutralize effects of unwanted signal that the device originally was giving. After these modifications, the device was tested and accuracy increased by incredible 17%. The business model of Neurocommunicator aims at governments to cover the expenses of putting our software to use. Every government has funds that are assigned to health care of disabled individuals. It is in the very best interest of every government to raise rise the health condition of patients and by that to reduce the cost of further health care. To make our application feature rich, we decided to put plugins of Neural Communicator open source. The API that we developed enables easy development of new plugins for Neural Communicator by community. We were very excited to work on projects that solves communication problems of those that have difficulties communicating. We wanted to know what experts in neurology think about our project, and we wanted to know what disabled think about our project as well. As a result of that, our application was changed and refined from the way we made it originally to what it is now, based on feedback that we received. Our application is adapted to patients' special needs as much as it is possible. Of course, solution wouldn't be a good solution if it wasn't available to everybody. That is why we chose the cheapest BCI device on the market. All the features of Neural Communicator, speech alternative, SMS, Windows Live Messenger, Book Reader plugin, web browsing plugins, they all give new possibilities to disabled individuals by giving them a chance to connect with their families and friends, an opportunity to exchange their thoughts and ideas and to feel alive once again. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. Excellent presentation. Good stuff. I guess you know I'm thinking that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you've heard that joke before, I'm sure. Okay, a question for you. How many people in the world actually would, do you have any feel for how many patients are out there that would benefit from this, this technology? Uh, th there are not many statistics about patients that could benefit from these statistics, in, even in developed countries, but the facts that we could acquire are, for, for example, for spinal cord injuries, for example, in the United States, there are uh, from 250,000 to 350,000 uh, spinal cord injury patients alive. And uh, there are many other conditions that uh, our application can be applied to. Uh, as I said, what is in common for all these conditions is that the broca's area uh, is uh, damaged. And uh, for, for any com uh, condition that, uh, where communication uh, is uh, difficult and uh, if there is no communication. So would this treatment be for someone that was in that position all the time or, or during recovery? Is it, is it for a chronic patient or is it for someone who's going to get better at the end of the day? Uh, it can be used by chronic patients and those that can be, get better again because it leaves good imp uh, effect on their, uh, on their uh, condition. Okay, thank you very so much. Social, psychological... Yeah, okay. it cheers them up basically because now they can talk to their friends yes. and, and yeah. be in touch with the world whereas previously they were just yes. stuck. Yeah, okay, thank you very much. I think it was, uh, first of all, this is really important work. Um, Good job, keep it up. Uh, somebody, I think it was Mark Twain, said, any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. I want Arthur C. Clarke, I stand corrected. Um, I, 
I want to understand your magic. I, under, I understand the multitude of applications of this, but I want to better understand your magic. And I wonder if you could review for me uh, some of the commands and how and the limitations. Like, w what are the different things that are possible? How many of them are there and what are some limitations? Uh, important okay. requirement for our project is to have cognitive processes of patient uh, work. They need to be aware about their surroundings and they need to be able to process the information that they receive. That is the only requirement that they need to have. So uh, the functions that we uh, uh, listed, uh, eye movement, jaw muscle contractions, and alpha and beta brain waves can be used by, uh, to control our application. So I could not discern, I was trying to figure it out, the most of the driving that you did yeah. Was that was done? Well, uh, he used uh, his jaw. Uh, it is detected in two levels of intensity, a weak and strong, and he used his eye movement. Uh, actually, it doesn't detect, you know, it, it doesn't record it. It, it detects brain waves that are uh, related to those uh, movements, those actions. So it is all done with brain, with the electrodes that he is uh, having uh, his, uh, his uh, forehead. It detects impulses, okay. neural impulses. Fascinating. I'm, I'm blown away. Oh, really awesome. <laughs> Thank you for the presentation. Um, one quick question before I go to more um, second question. Uh, for the first question, you had a plugin for Facebook <coughs> right, and Bing. Do you need a plugin for every single site? Yes, you, you need a plugin to be able to use accessibility features for that site. Like login or, or search images or something like that. So that means if I'm using a product, I can only browse a certain site if I have the plugin. No, no, no. 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 You uh, can browse any website with those features I described in the basic browser. So you, have, you must navigate between elements, next and previous elements, and activate by the enter action button. Or you can just activate enter text when you navigate to a control that has focus. So okay. you can enter text into it. Okay, thank you. And my second question is regards to kind of your rollout plan. So you mentioned there were about 300,000 people in the U.S., for example. Okay. Yes, that, that is the spinal cord. just for spinal cord injuries. Okay, so there, great. there are like uh, 8 okay. million uh, stroke cases every year in the United States. Okay. We could get so, okay. those data. Okay, sure. So let's say now if you want to roll out your product, which would be the first markets you want to target? and how you want to do it? The which governments, for example? Uh, any government that wants to talk to us. Sure, course. but you, you, I mean, you need a plan. You need a marketing plan. You need a target, right? Uh, yeah. Implementation plan. <laughs> <laughs> OK, for, we would like to start with our government, of course. So uh, we would see how it works out. But any government that is willing to spend money to increase health of their people, with their handicaps, we're free to talk okay, to us. Okay, thank you. Well, a very sophisticated solution. I am very impressed. I have a question. Well, can you, every patient, maybe just one word of background, has got different conditions. It's very difficult to say that two are in the same level of capability to communicate. Yes. Yes. Is there any feature of customizing functionality due to the conditions of the patient? Uh, what we did, we wanted to make application adapt to page patients, not, uh, applic uh, not patients to adapt to application. That, we, that is why we chose uh, for any number of actions that patient is capable of performing. If there yes. is just one thing, just one action that they can perform, that they can use from the BCI, yep. We will use it and make it possible for, for them uh, to browse the internet, to, to, to send SMS, to chat, to read the books. To communicate. To communicate. For, for example, in our boot, yep. uh, we uh, modified our application to use only two actions. So yep. they could use just eye movement and draw muscle contractions, which is detected in one level. So we got two columns and two rows. And items are arranged in those four cells. Mm -hmm. That's they, great. If they That's only great. can move their eyes, uh, okay. that's enough. Mm -hmm. if they, uh, the other action could be if you only could to contract the jaw. Uh, mm -hmm. Again, that is one action. It's enough. But the user interface adapts to the patient's capabilities. 
So is it true that every patient will generate the same level of signal which you can recognize? Is there any issue of the fuzzy uh, signal uh, which is actually... The signal, the signal yeah. can be adjusted. So uh -huh. if a patient can't reproduce a strong enough signal, we can amplify that signal and, okay. signal and use it in our application. Okay, so the, the last and very difficult question. What's the weakest feature of that system? Cost. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. <laughs> My questions are around the usability and the user interface. First of all, I like the improvements that you made over the one that was in the video that you produced. Uh, a lot easier to be able to do the, the selection and choices. Have you tested the accuracy of this on, on people who are disabled? And have you come up with metrics to be able to figure out what at level of accuracy you found? Uh, we had a couple of volunteers that were uh, that wanted to to test the application. Uh, th there was three patients that we tested it on. I, it, it wasn't enough to make a statistic about right. uh, uh, yeah. about uh, <coughs> how accurate it is. But uh, uh, on uh, both patients uh, managed to use our application in let's say five to ten minutes. So they just needed to adapt to the uh, how can I say? We explained them how it works. Uh, they, they got used to actions uh, for controlling the application, and it was quite easy. First thing, they wrote their name. Uh, they wanted to write uh, the, the longer uh, word. After that, uh, uh, we showed them uh, the book reader plugin. Uh, I mean, there, there was one patient uh, uh, that was uh, quadriplegic. Uh, he's in his bed. Uh, he, he likes computers, but uh, uh, his uh, little brother and uh, mother, they uh, they use it for him. He tells them uh, which uh, functions to, to, to click, uh, what website to visit. And uh, it was his first time to use the internet, mm. to browse the web, and uh, on, on his own. It, it was that easy. Good, good, thank you. So at the moment, you, you, you can't control media playback, but it wouldn't be hard, I guess, to integrate media, uh, no. the controller of. Uh, P picking music and TV channels and recorded yeah, video. So you no, it won't be hard at all. So you just had a plug-in which, which would basically reach out and control that program. Yes, yeah. that's what we made is a plug-in and avail be available via main menu where you can select and you will have replacement as, as it will look like a web browser with many a player instead of the browser. Let's say. Okay, w when you make a plugin, is that presently a hardwired process to actually design the thing as a freestanding program? I mean, do you see any kind of future for a plugin editor where people can m make it very easy to find a program if people like using a particular program or maybe even a very simple game, uh, mm -hmm. a turn by turn game like chess or checkers or something? Would it be easy to make a plugin editor for your system? It's not, uh, uh, there is no need for a plugin editor because to implement a plugin, you just have to implement the four functions ah. that are defined via okay. API. So it's very easy to write. Easy. Okay, right, thank you. Very good, wonderful yeah. stuff. Yeah. Thank you. Good talk. Okay. Let's give him a hand. Give him a hand.